Welcome back everybody. Today, Chef Mike, what are we learning? We're learning knives today and knife skills and the safety of knives and how to clean your knives properly. And we got a lot of different knives here yeah. going on right now. There's so many knives out here. This is just a few of them that I would like to share with you on, on what they do and the purpose of them and um, how, to maintain, how to maintain them and then um, how to use them. Let's jump in. All right. So what we have here on, this is a steel. This is to help you put an edge back on the knife and it's used like this or you could use it like this. That's what this guard here is so you don't cut yourself. But I usually use it this way, go this way to put the edge back on. All right, so we have the chef knife. This is a Japanese knife. I really love this knife. Um, the steel is very, very good quality. Um, and the handle, how the, the steel comes down into the handle makes it a quality knife. Um, this knife is used basically for, you know, chopping vegetables, um, you know, cleaning chicken breasts, things like that, cutting fish into portions. You could cut steaks into portions, um, things like that. This knife here, we have, it's a carving knife. Um, you could, you know, at a carving station, cutting prime rib or cutting tenderloin or pork loin, whatever is being carved at the carving station. Also, I also use this knife for filleting fish at times, like big salmons or something like that. Um, this is another chef knife. This is more of a American style chef knife, and it's used the same uh, with vegetables, cutting steaks, things like that. This is a, another Japanese style uh, knife that I like to use for cutting sushi, preparing um, you know, different cuts of vegetables like a, a julienne cut or things like that. Did a lot of these come in this set you bought or how did No, that... it's a mis mismatch. Some of these were in this set. I just carry my main knives that every, I like in this set. Every chef has a lot of love for their, their yes. knives. And this is a fillet knife for fish or a boning knife for meats and that. It's angled like that so you get the meat around the bone and stuff like that. This is a very sharp knife. You have to be, and it's flexible. You see how flexible that is? That's like for fish. You have to be careful with a knife like this. When it's flexible, that thing will rip and it will really cut you. So be careful. This is a serrated knife. The serrated knife is used for breads. Um, baked goods, things like that, that you're going to saw, you right. know, something crunchy. This is a Japanese boning knife that uh, is used for meats and fishes. Is it flexible? No, this one's not. This is very steady, this one. Got it. And then this is another chef vegetable type knife with some ridges in it. Just helps the product stay away. You know, it gives, it gives you a clean cut. It won't stick as much if you're chopping or Gotcha. Slicing. Like if you're cooking garlic, yeah. it won't stick onto it as yeah. easy. And then we have an oyster knife or a shucking knife here uh, for clams or oysters. And then we have your Rambo knife here, <laughs> Ian, that uh, you use when, when you go spear fishing and stuff. Yeah. This is, this is a great knife, actually. But this is good for a lot of wild game out there. And um, yeah. Very cool. So, what are these guys over here? This is a genois. It's for cutting vegetables, like in mass. If you're doing a like julienne vegetables, or uh, you you want real thin slices for potato chips, and then you have different blades that fit in here that give you different cuts. This is a like a French fry cut, and this is like a, a angel hair cut of vegetables or um, julienne cut. They're both juliennes, but different sizes of julienne. So chef, let me ask you a question. Out of all these knives, if everyone, let's say, could only have one, two, or three of them as like need bees, where would you start? I would start with the chef knife, the serrated knife, and the, this is like good for vegetable chopping, yeah. you know? You don't need all this. I just wanted to share with you if you've seen this in your drawer or you were shopping. So one thing I remember learning just from my dad back in the day is yeah. that it's really important to have a very sharp knife. Yes. It's the dull knives is actually when you end up injuring yourself. Yeah. Can a you talk about that? If your knives are very dull, they're gonna slip off the product and cut you. And if you get cut by a dull knife, 
it's really going to rip you. When you get cut by a sharp knife, it's, it's a quick in and out kind of. It depends, but it's uh, a dull knife could hurt you worse than a sharp knife. So I think next we should learn a little bit of how to use some of these knives. Yeah, let's do it.